How's everyone doing today? Welcome to the channel. I'm your overlord, the Godless Gamer. You're watching episode 11 of My Stellaris Campaign, A Tale of Galactic Conquest. Let me prove to you what an amazing overlord I am. Today we're going to try to take over a significant portion of the galaxy. I decided that we're going to fight the, UM the UMC, the United Mechazurian Commonalities. These are the guys that we had a federation with, and we broke it up. And as a result of breaking up that federation, we have a truce with them until 2367, so I have to wait eight years before I can invade. But that's enough time to prepare a little bit more. I'm building another fleet, in fact. And that'll be time to get some more technologies that should be able to boost our fleet power as well. I'm also building more armies so we can inv invade planets more effectively. And look at this, I'm terraforming 15 planets. <laughs> I had enough energy to do it, so I figured why not. But we can minimize that so it doesn't crowd up my menu here. So we're going to speed 3 our way to this war. I'm renaming this new fleet. I'm renaming them the Omnicons. Last, I, I built another fleet last episode and I renamed them to the Ultrabots. I'm trying my best to stick to the Transformers theme. Our ships have been upgraded. Constru we have mastered a new technology. <laughs> There are certain technologies that I want to try to get today. I want to get the one that's going to allow us to get our Ascension perk. We have mastered a new I really want Galactic Wonders, but it requires Mega, Engine Mega Engineering, and we don't have it yet. And another thing, uh, something that I'm not understanding, it's, it's X'd out here, requires having repaired or fully upgraded any Mega Structure. I don't know why that's X'd out, because I fully upgraded a Mega Structure. I fully upgraded my Arc Furnace. I can't upgrade it anymore. So I might not be able to get Galactic Wonders yet. So the next Ascension Park we're going to get is Master Builders. All I need is Mega Engineering and I can get that. So we'll grab that next. Spaceborne monstrosity encountered. I'm passing this new agenda that we haven't used yet. This agenda gets rid of negative traits, and I have one now. So we're gonna get rid of it. We're finally choosing our, our last tradition, and I know which one I'm doing. I'm doing Unyielding. Starbase upkeep minus 20% as a finisher. Defense platform cap plus 50%, so I can add more defensive platforms to some of my border stations, which is going to be really nice in to prepare for my war. And then this is a really good perk too. Starbases and defensive platforms have their hull points and damage increase by 33%. Council agenda available. Six more years. I'm going to keep looking up here and counting down the years. We should have this new fleet built by then. 
Damn it, that didn't work out. By the way, guys, there's two Jigalwin hives. There's this Jigalwin hive, and there's this Jigalwin hive. So there's two separate empires now. And I should keep an eye on the, like, the situation over here. Whoever ends up being the more powerful Jigalwin hive, I should have a spy network be in that one as opposed to this one. I think this one's losing. Because they're at war right now. a new technology. I have a lot of spy networks going on right now, a lot to manage. We have mastered a new technology. Staying on speed three. It's not really much to do. At least not until we get some more technologies, because then I'm going to have to upgrade some things. Mastered a new technology. Some more important technology, better missiles. That's an important that's important for us. We use them. I'm gonna wait to upgrade my fleets until we get all the technologies, just so I can upgrade them all in just one big one big batch. Spaceborne abomination encountered. We have mastered four a more years. Jigalwin Hive declared war on the Jigalwin Hive. So there's a civil war within the Jigalwin Hive. Let's see who comes out on top. I can leave my planets alone for the most part. My economy is amazing. Research is really great. And I'm and I'm building a bunch of research stations on a lot of these planets too, so. Omnicons are almost done building. Five months and we get missiles. I 
I built some more invasion fleets, like more armies, landing armies. We're gonna get them positioned. We have mastered a new technology. We have mastered a new tech. We can exploit zero now, which we don't have access to, but my ally does. So when we invade him, we'll gain access to some zero. We have none of that. That's a new rare resource that we've never we've never even interacted with yet. We have mastered a new Two more years. I'm getting orbital habitats. I have a feeling I have to get orbital habitats before I can get the uh, the mega engineering technology that I want. I think it's a prerequisite. Don't quote me on that, but I think it is. Upgrading all my defensive platforms. Our ships have been upgraded. Our ships have been upgraded. Our ships have been upgraded. We have mastered a new technology. I don't know if we'll be able to get any more technologies for my fleets before we start fighting. So I'm upgrading all my fleets now. I'm just gonna keep doing smear campaigns against the SOW. I'm just gonna keep smearing them. It looks like the Jagolin Hive, this version of it, is the more powerful one. Because look at the, look at all the conquests. They are just rampaging through, through here. I'm going to get rid of this spy network. And we're going to build a new one in here. Two more years? 2367, yeah. Our, ship. Our ships have been upgraded. We have mastered a new technology. Oh... We win. We win. The Sovereign Obadin Worlds just canceled their their guarantee of independence for the UMC. We win. Things are about to get real. That is just in time. They gave me they gave me a year to prepare. So guys, I I'm really, really excited, but I'm trying not to, like, my voice hurts for some reason today, so I'm trying not to yell and get excited, but I am really happy. I can fight the UMC completely uncontested. Let's merge our invasion fleets together. A lot of our planets just finished terraforming, and as a result of our terraforming efforts, we've given some of the planets new features. Hold on. Too many windows open. Matsonia 5A gains engineered nature modifier, adds plus 10 amenities. That's not great. We could have gotten something better for that than that. Aldeeb 3... 
perfect organization modifier added, resources from jobs plus 10%, max districts plus 20%. That essentially increased the planet size. And it says happiness minus 50, but we don't deal with happiness. Happiness is not a mechanic that our species deals with. We deal with deviancy, so that doesn't affect us at all. So this modifier effectively increased the size of the planet. Which one is this? This is the really close one. All Deeb is right here. It's the planet that's in my sector, actually. Alright, that's awesome. Last planet. Bracken 3. Bracken 2. Sorry. Amenities. Alright, we got, we got one good one, two not-so-great ones. We're about to claim a quarter of the galaxy. 30% maybe? I don't know. I'm just eyeballing it. I'd say a quarter. At least a quarter. Is everybody upgraded? Not yet. We're still waiting for the Destructobots and the Insecticons. We have mastered a new technology. We have mastered a new technology. <laughs> We're at full capacity for energy. I'm making so much energy that I can't spend it all. Which is a good situation to be in. The UMC just closed their borders to us? That's not gonna stop us, my friend. The destructive bots are almost done. Just want to fill this last slot. I'll do an exotic gases refinery. The Free Helven Confederation? That's a, that, that's a new name. They just got that name. Their war with the Sovereign Obedin Worlds is over. And that's really good. I'm glad that the SOW has a rival right on their borders. So they can deal with them and they can fight each other for a while instead of, instead of worrying about me. Worry about your side of the galaxy. I'll worry about my side of the galaxy. Come on, Destructobots. Hurry up. Speed 5, man. Okay, that's it. We're done. Autobots, get your butts over here. Insecticons, get your butts over here. Dinos coming up here. Destructobots coming up here. So three feet, three fleets invading this way, two fleets invading this way. And I still have a fleet on all my borders, protecting, just in case. We have mastered a new technology.
I'm gonna close my borders too. Just because he did it to me, I'm doing it to him. Oops, I need to shift one more fleet over here. My bad. But they go pretty fast. Here we go. Time has come. Declaring war, wipe them out. All of them. And I'm gonna slow down. We're not gonna do this on speed three. I'll do it on speed one. Doing this is gonna be kinda tedious. We have mastered a new technology. Slow and steady wins the race. Mega engineering, there it is. I can upgrade all my stations now. And then once all those are upgraded, I have to remember to build some more defensive platforms around the ones that need them. Situation log updated. Xeno station engaged. Are you going to attack me? Now, because I have three fleets, I could do this. Send them in three different directions. I have to protect my invasion fleet. They're super vulnerable. I have to protect them. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Xeno station engaged. Three hundred ninety six garrison in this planet. That's easy. I don't have to orbital bombard that planet at all. Let's send our invasion fleet in here. You know what? I have to keep this fleet in here. Let's keep them in there. I need to have my fleets orbiting hyper relays because their fleet could just enter the system through the relay and then instantly jump out without having to engage my fleet. So what we we need to make sure that we're positioned around the relays so we can catch any fleets coming into the system. There's a pre-FTL planet here. I don't have to worry about that right now. This fleet is taking the... They're entering the system right here. Let's wait. Let's meet them at the relay. I'm gonna slow down for a second. Oh. I'm 
Got him. I have to replot their route again. We just need to control the choke points just to make sure that none of their fleets get behind me. Alright, how are we doing over here? Uh oh. See, that's what happens. Is my invasion fleet really hurt? Nope, they're not even on that side of the system. Get over here, get over here. So a fleet got around behind me, which isn't good. It's already starting. It's okay, I caught it. Alright, so much happening. That is a very unattractive sound that you just made. Back to business. <laughs> Zeno Land secured. Think you could sneak out behind me? I don't think so. Our first planet conquered. Now we can destroy it. We're gonna be doing a lot of this. Server shutdown. On to the next system. 396 garrison. I guess we can go we can bombard it a little bit while we wait for the the fleet to get here. This fleet is staying put for now. Wow, look at this. Five, zero production in this system. Interesting. All right, my two fleets can move up to the next. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Xeno station engaged. We're gonna keep getting spammed up there, and we're gonna keep hearing that annoying alarm sound constantly, but... Alright, let's make sure that we station this fleet at the relay. They're staying put for now. We're gonna take out this constellation, and then we'll come back, and then we'll continue the push up here. We have mastered a new technology.
We have mastered Council the new agenda technology. ready. There goes that negative trait. Now we can do finding the voice, more unity. Hell yeah. How far are we from our mega engineering? 68 months. This is a really intense technology, but I want it. Planet here. 475. See how I'm trying to do this systematically? I'm trying to keep my invasion fleets that are taking the planet Invading behind one of my uh, just regular navy naval fleets. I need to protect them while they do their thing, taking out planets. Because they have no defenses against, like, military fleets. The Jigalwin Hive made peace with the Jigalwin Hive. Good for them. I would really like to stay on top of these, these spy networks. Keep stealing technology. Construction complete. All of my stations just upgraded? Okay. Let me pause for a second. I want to build all these defensive platforms where they need to be. So I can build three here. business. There are two planets here. 643. 557. Let's bombard these planets a little bit. My army can handle it, but they'll take less damage if I if I help them out. Station engaged. We have mastered a new technology. There's two planets here as well. 842. 188. I can invade in, invade the smaller one instantly. We'll bombard this planet. Systematic extermination. It's what you're witnessing. Invading Xeno Lair. Xeno Lair secure.
We'll leave that be for a second. Let's check over here. 212. Time to invade. Invading Zeno Lair. Zeno Lair. Secure. There's a hyper relay in this system that I don't want to be here. There's actually a bunch of hyper I can I can deal with those things oh, you know what you know I'll deal with stuff like that on my own time getting rid of hyper relays it's not necessary to do right now I have plenty of energy I know it says 99 we're really low but that's because we're taking these planets and they're not they're just draining my energy and stuff our power will go back up Invading Zeno Lair. Hostile Zeno fleet engaged. Zeno Lair secured. Speed up a little bit. Zeno Lair secured. There's only one planet in this system. The other one is a pre-FTL. So we care about this one. 981. Bombard. So we've cut off we these fleets. Now that I control this system, I'm going to start working my way down this way with this fleet. But... Um, they can't send any fleets through this way. And this is their capital, by the way. Their war exhaustion is at 100% and we're only at 7%. They have no intent of surrendering. So they're going to make us completely destroy them. They are not going to surrender, which is fine. Invade. Xeno station engaged. We've cut them off. 
Xeno Land secured. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Spaceborne depravity countered. This is a really strong planet, so this is going to need a lot of bombarding. And we discovered, what is that? A Dyson Swarm? Was that what that was? Yeah. There's a Dyson Swarm fully upgraded around this star. So that's ours now. Station engaged. Weak planet, instant invasion. I'm going to send the... Who's weakest? None of them. Neither of them are weakest. Like, both of them are really strong. We barely lost any ships. I just don't need this many fleets anymore. We've accomplished what we need to do. There's no more. We're not pincering from two fronts anymore. We've successfully taken this part. Now we can just focus on this part. I don't need this many fleets. So one of these, one of these fleets just earned itself a trip home. Invading Xeno Lair. I forgot where that just came from. Damn it, I forgot where that... Maybe it was that one, I don't know. We have mastered a new technology. Xeno Lair secured. So this invasion fleet can come down here, and we'll start it coming this way. Twenty months, and we get mega engineering. Which is going to open up a bunch of new technologies. Terraforming on Gruner Prime has finished faster than initially estimated. Another amenities modifier. I don't want that one. That's more like it. Perfect organization on Bombala 4A. And on Lishval 2. Are we done terraforming everything? That was everything. So we, we terraformed a bunch of planets. 15 of them. Let's focus on some building stuff, guys. Um...
Oh, there's a planet we didn't take out. We missed it. We missed it. I missed it. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. If I leave planets alone, they can build things behind my lines. And we don't want that. Xeno station engaged. I have an idle leader? Uh oh, did I lose somebody? I have both of my invasion fleets and I have all eight of my naval fleets. Where did he come from? What was he doing? Not 100% sure where that guy came from. I don't know. Whatever. He's doing something now. And I'm not over my commander limit. We're still within. This is going down pretty rapidly. We'll invade in a second. One of our spaceports is under attack. Uh oh. One of our spaceports is under attack. They got behind me again. Xeno Station. See, this is why I need to slow down. <laughs> slow down for a second. Oh, look, we're jumping back and forth. But... We have mastered a new technology. Hostile Where do you think Xeno you're going? Engaged. One of our spaceports is under attack. One of our spaceports has been lost. They're running away like cowards. They just keep running. That's good enough. Invade. Invading Xeno Lair. Five months, and we get our new tech. Xeno station engaged. Open worlds need to manage their spider work. <laughs> Sorry, space amoebas, you're in the wrong place at the wrong, at the wrong time. Invading Xeno Lair.
There's another mega, mega structure here. Another Dyson Swarm. They're amassing a pretty big fleet here. Nothing I can't handle. One of my fleets can handle all that. I keep getting disoriented. Come here. We have mastered a new technology. There's our mega engineering. Master builders, mega structure build speed plus 50% and mega structure build capacity plus 1. So I could build more mega structures and faster. Zeno Lair secure. Hostile Zeno fleet engaged. Coming in from both sides. Absolute Massacre. One of our spaceports is under attack. Again? Where? Did they slip by me again? I see these invasion fleets, these uh, these armies, but they can't do anything. We have mastered a new technology. This gives, gives us access to another Ascension perk, but we're not ready for that yet. The next one we want is Galactic Wonders. Zeno Lair secured. One of our stations is under attack. All right, one of our stations is under attack. Where? Tell me where. We're fine. They're not behind our lines. They're not getting into my empire or anything. Zeno fleet engaged. We're taking out Mecha's Prime. And it has a really crappy garrison. Xeno station engaged. Invading Xeno lair. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged.
we have mastered a new technology. Because I'm getting all these mega structures, look at my power uh, production 3,000 every month. Which is more than I can spend in any amount of time. So now we're getting access to new mega structures. Science Nexus, not really relevant anymore. Wow, all of the options pretty much are mega structures. The Century Array is pretty good. It allows you, it gives you complete view. Uh, it gets rid of the fog of war everywhere. You can see everything that's going on in the galaxy. We don't need to invest in the big megastructure technology yet. Like, one thing at a time. When I start getting interested in building those megastructures, we'll invest in that tech. At least their system is pretty valuable in terms of uh, resources. That's good enough. Invading Xeno Lair. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Xeno land secured. It's another planet down, and another one gone, and another one gone. Another one bites the dust. Here's a pretty ocean world that it's not letting me zoom in on. Come on. There we go. It has no land masses at all. It's just complete water. Except for the poles. A construction ship got behind me. Council agenda available. None of these planets need to be bombarded. So these fleets are done. I can send another one away. We'll send the... Let's give the Autobots a break. We have mastered a new technology. That takes care of all of that. Now it's just this little sliver. They're getting around behind me. They're trying to rebuild their stations. That's okay. This fleet, we'll get there in time and then we'll uh, attack them. Xeno station engaged. 
I admire the, the effort. This planet's taking a while to bombard. And we did just go over an hour, but we're not going to end this episode until I'm done. Until I'm completely destroyed the uh, we have mastered a new technology. the UMC. I'm going to leave this open until we get the Ascension perks that we want. He's wasting his time. He's even building... He's even building the little mining stations. Like, what are you trying to accomplish here, buddy? Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. See, they're getting around behind me because they can go this way. I'm not paying attention. I'm not controlling the choke point. I, I just wanted to have both these fleets here bombarding this planet just to get it done faster. Oh, you know what I think it is? I think this fleet wasn't on it wasn't on Armageddon stance for its bombardment. That's why it was taking so long. Where do you think you're going? is under attack. One of our spaceports has been lost. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. And then we instantly got it back. <laughs> Xeno station engaged. We have mastered a new technology. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. So we've cut them off. They can't get behind me anymore. That's it. We have mastered a new Look at them technology. desperately trying to expand. <laughs> Station engaged. Hostile so now we've engaged. consolidated all of our invading fleets and armies all in one place. Now we should be able to get through the rest of this really quickly. And then once we're done with that, we'll wrap it up. What? Am I jumping the gun again? I'm s I didn't take the planet yet. I thought I told them to invade this. Come on. Council agenda ready. So tedious, but we're doing it. Their garrison got strong again. Oh my goodness.
Casino Lab. Invading Zeno Lair. <laughs> we have a few more planets to destroy, but... The garrisons of these planets should be very weak because I'm willing to bet that they only just colonized them. Because they're they're trying to expand this way desperately to get away with, away from me. So all of these planets are recent colonies. So they should have very small garrisons. There we go, finally. engaged. We have mastered a new technology. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. Xeno station engaged. Zorf. Zorf will be the final planet to fall. Hostile Xeno fleet engaged. See? The garrison is really weak. So no worrying about orbital bombardments. Spaceborne monstrosity encounter. Xeno station engaged. Now, technically, we haven't conquered all this yet. We still have to build outposts and build star bases and expand, but we don't have to survey a lot of these systems. Most of them are already completely surveyed, so it's just a matter of building everything. Oh, there is a system here that needs to be surveyed. I'll deal with it later. <laughs> I don't need to start surveying stuff right now. Zeno Lair secured. Invading Zeno Lair. This is what you get, ally, for not being okay with my genocidal ten tendencies. Zeno Lair. You get genocided. Cybertronians, how delightful. Oh, is this the other fallen empire? It is. I was right. I was right, there's another fallen empire over here and it's blocking this part of the galaxy, so I have free reign over all of this. Boom, boom, boom. Spaceborn horror encountered. Two more planets to go, and we're done. And then we're gonna wrap it up, guys. We have mastered a new technology. 
Spaceborne depravity encountered. <laughs> Look at the war exhaustion. 26%, 100%. <laughs> Xeno Station engaged. Waste no time, no garrison, invade quickly. Hurry up. Unlocks Betharian Power Plant? This is another building I can build on generator planets to improve the efficiency of power generation. Wow, I'm gonna get that technology in like two seconds. Invading Xeno Lair. Whoops. Constructo bots, we can send you back. Just doing some shifting around. Zeno Land. Spaceborne depravity is counted. We have mastered a new technology. Xeno Station engaged. Oh, the, the, the system name is Zorf. The planet's name is Teslas. There we go. That's the end of them. They've been destroyed. Now, we have this patchwork of stuff that we need to deal with. Spaceborne monstrosity. Let's destroy all that. Speed up to three. Okay. Done. We can get all of these fleets back home. We can deal with this next episode. But we destroyed our allies successfully. We just have to expand this way, and this will honestly take care of all of my economic needs. I'll never have to update or upgrade a planet or... I mean, I'm still gonna colonize new planets and we're still gonna expand and develop and stuff, but all of the resources in these systems that I'm gonna take advantage of, all this research, all these minerals and power and rare research, this will take care of all of our economic needs even though all of our economic needs are pretty much taken care of but we will get access to new rare resources zero here zero here zero here A lot of stuff to take advantage of. Alright. Let's zoom out and see the galaxy. So, yep, once we occupy all this, I would say that's a third of the galaxy. Probably a more than a third of the galaxy. Excellent. We are the last machine race in the galaxy standing. Now it's just us against the organics. <laughs> and we will wipe them all out. But that's going to have to wait for future episodes. Thank you for being here today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. We took out an, an empire successfully. We are conquering the galaxy. And I'm having a great time. Hope you guys are too. If you enjoyed this one, hit that thumbs up button. 
Subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed. Uh, leave your comments as well, and I will see you in the next one. Episode 12 will be coming at you soon, but until then, have a good one, guys.